To be fair, he never ever barks. I want to put you under pressure. Oh, no. ah, sorry! Ah. Ah. He's already swollen up. Such a good boy! <laughs> you gotta love him, you gotta love him. Guys, we are back. You might remember Lador from the last protection dog video. Um, you guys seem to really, really enjoy that. You like, we want more content with the dogs. If you click here, you can actually see that video. Now let's address a few of the comments. When we were doing the house update, and I used to shoot these videos with Daniel, everyone was a builder. Everyone was in construction. Yep. We have a car business. Everyone's a car wrapper. Yep. Everyone's a race driver when I do car wow videos. Yep. And it seems now, Everyone is a dog trainer. Is a dog trainer. Of course. One of the comments was about the sleeve. Yeah. Oh, he's got a sleeve. That's why the dog's gone for it. He's trained for that. If someone yeah. turns up like this with no sleeve, it's not going to work. Yeah. So let's address a couple of the comments. Yeah, sure. And then let's explain what we're going to do today. When you're training a dog, throughout the whole process, it has to be trained on a sleeve. Sleeves, bite suits, hidden sleeves, whatever it is to get to this point, every dog trainer has put his dog on a sleeve. Impossible not to have done. It has to have done. What people don't realize is we're teaching you how to handle this dog. You've never done dog training. No. Nope. Are you a dog expert? I'm not a dog expert, and nope. pe people are very quick to point out, <laughs> yeah. Yanni, you look petrified. Listen, you gotta remember, I'm used to this dog around my family, my wife, the kids. The dog's very cool, very friendly. As much as it's not a pet, it is still a pet because it is part of our family. You haven't seen that side of him before, ever. Correct. So when I teach you on a sleeve, if anything goes wrong, if you fall or let go of the lead or anything that happens at all, I'm safe. This is an exercise that's been trained on hundreds of occasions. It's a yeah. safe thing for you to do. You were under no pressure to do that because I said it's okay. Yeah. What we're doing today is slightly different. I'm in a covert. I can't slip this. I can't get this off. It hurts. It will hurt on this. We're, st we're planning what we're going to do for the next stage now, which will be a full-on robbery where there is no introduction, there is no me coming and saying hi to the dog or anything. You will come out, set the dog on me, and it will be very personal. But to get to that point, we need to teach you what to do, and it's very easy to do it through equipment. Of course no one's gonna rob you with a whip. I've been preaching that stuff for years before people even had Instagram. I don't rush my process like most people. I wanna teach you so you're, com you're confident, you're comfortable. That dog knows what it's doing, but you know what you're doing. Because ultimately, I'll give you a weapon, I'll give you a real serious weapon. This is me doing my homework because if God forbid someone tries to attack my house, my family is safe. Whether it be me in the house or my wife, we will both be trained to let the dog go and do his thing. And even if we don't need to set the dog off, the dog will automatically react. That's and that is really, really important. That's what we're trying to get today as well. I want the dog to understand that when, when I'm in there in a balaclava, because no one should come to your house in balaclavas or really covered faces like yep. that, the dog should react. And that's what we're trying to gain today. But we're also teaching the picture now. So this means there could be something, which means you go out and set him on me. I hope you're not planning on getting loads of these because they hurt. <laughs> it's not actually... It's soft. It's actually <laughs> soft. When, when you actually squeeze it in, like I can squeeze and feel his arm. Nice. And that's just me squeezing it a little bit. So, so when you hear me shouting, I mean it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. So you've got the door that's going to come to the window in his balaclava. Um, and he's wearing a black tracksuit. Obviously the sleeve is hidden underneath, so no one knows that's there. And we're going to sit here and when he appears, the dog will go. The reason I've got him on the collar and the lead is because he'll probably go through the window. And um, it is training again. So, and on the next video, we'll show you something different. But for right now, this is, again, just another stage um, just and more training. Okay, Uzi, calm. I love strokes, this boy. I love strokes. Uzi, out! I'm gonna go hit you, Annie, okay? Good boy! Nice and calm, yeah? Uzi, out! Perfect, nice and calm. Uzi, out! Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, good boy. 
I'm going to come out the equation, Yanni, okay? And then, Yanni, what we need to do? Good boy. Hold him by the harness. <laughs> Tap. Is it? Is it? Is it? Watch him. Yeah, come with. Watch. Send him, let him go. Nice and calm, nice and relaxed, Joe. Push out. out. There you go, nice and perfect. Good, sit. sit. That's sit. good, it's okay, it's good. That's it, Yanni, I'm coming out the equation, I'm going. Good. It's very weird, it's very loud. When you're in that room, it's very, very loud. My daughter's in the other room. <laughs> My wife just comes and says she's crying. It's very, very loud. He's, listen, he's, he's serious and, and that's, what, that's what he's about. When you see someone coming to the door like that, you know it's business time, you know you mean business. He didn't actually have to do anything. He turned, he saw him, I waited and he went. And usually if that was a real person, that door would have been open and you send them straight away and there's, there's no issue there. Again, it's so weird seeing the dog react like that because I'm used to the dog every single day. I feed the dog, we play with the dog, my kids play with the dog. I take him for walks. You don't he, to be fair, he never ever barks. Sometimes when there's builders, like they're building next door, and I think that they put their head up and the dog reacted. I wasn't here and Steph told me. It's great. The door again does it. <laughs> Seb's here for the support. And again, this is this is a training video. This is we're learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I've never had a protection dog. I've never had to handle a weapon. That is a weapon. Yeah. And that, and that yeah, can okay. really do yeah. some serious damage to someone. Yeah. Here comes the door. Let's go see the door. <laughs> Look. Oh wow. Let's have a look. It's already swollen up, purple. Oh gosh, so it actually really does. Yeah, mate, it's the whole thing's purple, like it's blue. Yeah, <laughs> it hurts. How was that? You handled it well. I didn't give you too much information on what to do, and I tell you why. I want to put you under pressure. Yeah. Because ultimately, nothing's ever as it seems when you're doing when something happens. You don't really know what's going to happen. You know, you can't come out and say this is how it should go. You don't know how many people are going to there. You don't know how the dog's going to react and how you're going to be. You're going to be a bit nervous. So even when I do these stage attacks, I get nervous because I know that you don't fully know how to handle him right now. Yeah. And I'm in a position where if you can't get him off me, I'm stuck and the dog can feel that. But I think it was good. He saw me in the window. He was very reactive straight away. The aggression went up instantly when you helped him. Yeah. And that was it. The dog kind of goes, okay, I know my job. Came out, bit perfectly, biting was great. Out was nice, yeah. could be quicker. Yeah. But look in the reality of it. I'm not out in. Let's, let's be straight, if, if there's someone in, the dog's got a, I'm not outing. He let go when you asked him to. Yeah, he, and to be fair, I didn't even have to correct him. No. When I done the first time, he let go. Yeah, of course. And then the second time out, and he let go first That's more time. me teaching you. Yeah. Because what you need to do is when you're out, you need to go real calm. Right, you need to just be dead calm, relax, and then he'll out for you. When you put tension on, he's holding on even harder. So that's teaching, okay? Yeah. That's, that's the next session, we'll teach you more and more. But overall, that was good. The biting's very hard, my arm's still throbbing. Tack was good inside the house. I'm not getting through the house without getting bit. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's for sure. You know, if I hit four or five people, the first one coming through was getting done real bad. Yeah, and the other people. The, the, well, who else? What, you know, what, do you want half an arm? Do you want blood all over the place? That's the reality of it. No one's coming yeah. through. What, your rock, paper, scissors, who's coming in? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Not with my kids. No, that's it. I'm really happy with that. I know it's quick and sweet, but that's the reality of a, of a robbery. Yeah. But again, guys, I'm learning. Ask me to drive a car. I can drive a car. And even then you still say something about it. But with a dog, I'm learning, it's training as a pet. It's no problem, myself, Steph, and the kids, we can handle the dog really, really well. And when it comes to this situation, the whole idea is training. I'm really happy with that, honestly. I really, I really am, and I think the next one we'll have a lot of fun with as well. I wanna do some more things with you. I've got a lot more things to show what that dog can do. Lador from Protection Dogs Worldwide. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below, let me know what else you'd like to see. But Lador, thank you. Every time. Thank and you. I hope your arm's all right. Yeah, it's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> So he's obviously, I've brought him out, they've left, and he's like, what's going on? He wants to see what's going on. Go on then, go have a look. He's on it, fair play, he's on it. They've obviously left, he wants to make sure that no one's here now. <laughs> you gotta love him, you gotta love him. Uzi, we all good? We clear? No, they're not gonna be under there, mate. Are we clear, are we clear? Relax, relax. They've gone, they've gone, relax. Relax. Good boy. Good boy. He's still well hyped up. Okay, go on, go play. Go on. What he does, he goes around collecting the rocks. And the thing is, at night, I'll put the rocks away, and in the morning, he comes out and he finds all the rocks. Who's he? Sit. 
Down. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. It is how you deliver it. It's exactly that, it's how you deliver it. This is him normally, just as a dog, as a pet. Um, calm, he listens. Nicholas, my middle one, he, he plays with him all the time. Makes him sit, walks around. But he's getting back to himself now, he's back to him. He's back to being a pet now. Um, but it is incredible when you see him lose his absolute nut. He goes absolutely mental and then he's just, look, look at him. Look at his mouth, look. Put your hand in his mouth. <laughs> and then before, like, Lidor's gonna lose his arm. Good boy, good boy. Um, the reason I feed him on the collar is because he will run around for the rocks and I've been told an hour before he feeds, let him rest and then an hour after he feeds, let him rest because he could twist his stomach. So that is why he's fed on the collar. And the reason he's fed outside is because it's raw food and that raw food really, really stinks. Pure raw feeds, check them out. That is where I get Uzi's food from. It smells, comes in lovely packets, but he enjoys it. The whole idea is when you say out, you shouldn't grab it. Out, yeah look, do that. And then I'll say this to him. Yes. <laughs> Such a good boy. Such a good boy. If you come here and say out, or you, you say, like a lot of people that have dogs, they say uh, the words are in German and things like that. It's not, it's based on my voice, it's the tone of my voice, he's used to my voice. So yeah, if someone comes in and says the words that I say, it wouldn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, Uzi, we good? Come, let's go. Come, Uzi. Uzi, come. Come, 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 come. Let's go, let's go. Come, 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 boy, come, boy, come, boy. 